Hey, hey guys. guys, it's Crystal. And Chris, welcome back to Universal Studios. Halloween Horror Nights. Tonight, we're going to be focusing on the food and drinks that are here that are new for the most part. We came with empty bellies yes. and we're ready to try everything, you guys. It's and let hot. you know if it's worth it or not. It's warm out here. A nice cold drink sounds good right about now, so let's get to it. If you guys are hungry, prepare yourself. Grab your snacks, grab your drinks so you don't get hungry during this video. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, let's go, let's go. We want to start off by saying thank you to Universal Studios Hollywood for inviting us out for opening night as media. We got to preview some of the drinks and food items that will be offered this year. Of course, this wouldn't be possible without you watching and hitting that like button. So from the bottom of our spooky hearts, we want to thank you so much. You guys know how much we love food, so we got so excited to see that they brought flatbread pizza and a bunch of different desserts this year. You've probably seen some of these treats go viral, like the s'more. Heads up, starting at 7 p.m. you can line up at Studio Scoop, and that has a line because this thing is good and it is popular. So enjoy our HHN 2024 foodie guide. So the special guest of the weekend is here, DJing at the weekend bar. What better thing, you guys, the weekend is here. Uh, they gave us free drink tickets, and I thought that was it. We got two vouchers for drinks, but we thought that was it. But no, they do have a whole setup with the food, so I guess we're gonna try the food today. Yeah. All right, so first off, we are trying Franklin's barbecue ribs featuring baked beans a potato salad and actually has this cool little sugar uh, axe on it. They did such a great job. This thing looks incredible. Let's give it a taste. I don't want to eat this axe. It looks too cool. <laughs> you know what? Let me start with the baked beans. Mm. We love baked beans because over at Hogsmeade at Three Broomsticks, their baked beans with the breakfast is so good. This is perfect. It's really almost like gravy, like uh, very sweet but in a good way. I love it, this is good. Potato salad. That's a really good combo. Baked beans, potato salad. With ribs, oh my gosh, they're so tender. We're waiting for you to try the ribs. <laughs> they're so tender. Are they? So tender, very tangy. How's the flavor? It's really good. What you would you rate them? You actually don't need any more barbecue sauce to dip it in. I would say it's fine just like that. Out of five? Solid four out of five. Solid there you guys have it, four out of five. Alright you guys, so next we're gonna try the saw blade flatbread pizza, which look at the detail. It is like kinda like plated. And it is the first year that Universal actually brings flatbread. Yep. So let's taste them. No this more pizza fries. No more pizza know, fries this no year, you guys. <laughs> we're elevated here. Yeah, this is the mushroom one. I do have to say I'm more of a flatbread uh, fan. So I really, really enjoyed this really quick, good snack. Are we ready to pour out of five? Four out of five? Okay. Awesome. Let me give the mushroom one a try. I agree. I prefer the flatbread a little bit more. That is delicious. Do you miss the pizza fries? <laughs> 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 we do not. This is so much better. Mushroom, peppers, mozzarella, <laughs> mozzarella, mozzarella cheese, crispy onion, and spicy tomato. This is good, you guys. This is totally worth it. It's time for the short rib one. This one has short rib. That's the main difference. And ranch drizzle. The sauce is actually some spicy tomato sauce on both. Oh yeah. <laughs> this one's way spicier than the other one. Whoa. That has a nice. Mm, sorry. This has a nice kick. And I appreciate that. I like it. She's like, yeah, if you yeah, leave me like, some. Let me try it if you leave me some. <laughs> you do get a whole pizza. A pizza has four slices, small slices. Mm. Wait for it. Mm. <laughs> I do have to say, you get more of the cheese flavor with that. I don't know if it yeah. was my bite, but I don't really taste spiciness. No? I have to take another bite. Let me Crystal, another bite. she's built different though. We know that. That's why. That is true. Sometimes he says things are spicy, and I'm like, that's not spicy. It's not spicy to her. <laughs> Not at all? Nothing! No. no, you heard it here first. I do want to say this, you guys. I think I actually prefer the mushroom one better than the, the short rib one. It Maybe it, it might be because I already had barbecue rib by itself. I'm the opposite. I prefer the short rib one. Ooh, the mushroom. nice, nice. All right, so they ended up cranking the volume up to a full blast here at the bar, but here's the mini Stay Puff S'more. This thing went viral because it looks so cool. Now, if you didn't know, Crystal and I aren't usually one for sweets, but this thing was delicious. It's totally Instagram worthy and it looks too cool to eat, but trust me, it's so good. That marshmallow is so gooey and puffy. The chocolate and the fudge, it is perfection. Five out of five, get it at Studio Scoop, totally worth it. Now let's move on to the drinks. So apart from the food here at the Weekend Bar, they have three specialty cocktails, one non-alcoholic drink, and of course, cut waters and beer. 
This is the, is there someone else? It kind of reminded me of another drink called Blue Hawaii. It was okay. Their non-alcoholic drink out of time is pretty much just soda and syrup. Hands down, our favorite drink is the Too Late because it comes with tequila and a grenadine filled syringe. We couldn't get enough of this drink to be honest. And this was a close second. How do I make you love me? Rum, peach, and passion fruit. It was pretty refreshing. So our recommendation is the Too Late. And here's a pro tip. You see that grenadine syringe? Don't pour it all in there. It'll make your drink sweeter. The Weekend Bar is back. It is such a vibe and they do play his music in there. And it's a great place to hang out and take a break and grab a sip. So once again, thank you and thank Universal Studios for inviting us out. These drinks were perfect for that heat wave that we had opening weekend. Now let's move on, fast forwarding to the future. Several days later. Yes, yeah, so it's time for our first drink. Uh, you're gonna get the one that has... Uh, the horachata. Horachata. Rum and horachata, right? That sounds delicious. There's one that has pickle brine. Am I gonna get that for science or no? I know you guys want to see that. I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys. So we are going to be trying the horror chat. Presentation is It's different because it has to, uh, the banana chips on it. That's yeah. different. I will say it's a great add-on. I would never think to add the banana chips to like an horchata drink. Yeah. But it does add like that good uh, hint of like extra sweetness. Okay. And a good crunch. I love it. I think I would rate it a uh, three out of five. Three out of five? Yeah. Let me see if it's worth it or not. Okay, it's it's very sweet. It's very sweet. Uh, it reminds me of like a banana smoothie. Ooh, yeah, like a banana smoothie. Like a banana kinda. smoothie. It's very sweet. I don't taste the liquor at all, to be honest. And might be a good thing. We have thing. to creep it real. Might be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know yet, but I don't taste the liquor. It's just very sweet. Um, it's like a dessert in a cup. It's not bad. But it's not strong. If you're craving something sweet and refreshing, I opted for El Cadejo mango, uh, Mangorita. If you guys want me to try that pickle drink, it's gonna be a challenge. So tune in to one of our live streams when we're live at HHN. We have to get that like goal up. If we hit those likes, and we'll both try it. When we're live, I'll try it live. You're you guys try it too? Yeah, you guys know we are not pickle lovers yeah. at all, yeah. so that is going to be an actual challenge. That one's an El Charro, it has pickle brine, and we hate pickles. But anyways, for now, El Cadejo Mango Rita, uh, spicy tamarindo barca, which I love. Let's find out if it's good or not. Um, oh, okay. Mm. That's good. It tastes just like a Mexican candy. Uh, tastes like a Mexican candy, but with más jugo, but like more juice. It's not bad, not bad at all. So I like do it. you actually taste the alcohol in there? This is actually not that bad, you guys. Um, for hot, like warm days like today, yeah, this, this will hit the spot. I want to give like a 3.5 out of 5. Oh, uh, 4 is solid. 3 is like, meh. It's in between that. For what it is, it's, it's good. Is it worth $18? Are any of these worth $18? It's up to you guys. And what you're in the mood for? Mexican candy? Not bad, not bad. Now, a lot of people don't realize that Minion Cafe is actually open during Halloween Horror Nights and they have something called the Evil Mac and Cheese. This was our favorite snack last year, mac and cheese with hot Cheeto dust. Our second favorite bar here has to be Mulligan's here in front of, uh, here in front of Secret Life of Pets. We always like Hog's Head, but Mulligan's is like literally a close second. Shout out to Joe. Joe, awesome guy. We love chatting up with him. We've been making our drinks here for a while now. But you know what? They have a new drink, Werewolf Howling Orchid. The Howling Orchid drink, bourbon, whiskey, uh, apple slices, lemonade, simple syrup. This, this thing looks good. And it tastes pretty fire too. This tastes like fall in a cup. This thing is refreshing. A lot of the drinks at these other places tend to be a little sweeter. We're gonna creep it real. We're gonna creep it real. 
That's why we heard, we heard Mulligan's was gonna be open, so we came here. So come check out Mulligan's, try this drink. It's a full bar too, by the way, so it's tucked away back here. What would you rate it? This is right down our alley. Uh, this is a solid four and a half out of five. 4.5 out of 5. I love this. This is really good. I wish I could make this at home, to be honest. It's time. Little Cocina at Plaza de Terror. So I am actually going to revisit the Birria Tacos because we tried them two, three years ago and I thought they were okay. And I know it's a very popular item. Um, so I'm just going to dig in. Let's see if it's worth it or not. Is it good? Is it still good? I remember liking them but thinking they were a little small, which they do look pretty small. And they do give you a red sauce. I don't know if it's like really consomme, but it used to be like a sauce. Let's see now. It looks like a consomme. It's more of a red sauce, but it's like their, their version of consomme. A little bit of lemon, cilantro, onion. The birria does have like a nice charred flavor. They're not bad, they're good. And the masque, they're just, from with the canyon, they're really small. The red sauce. It almost has like, um, like a salsa roja flavor. Um, that deep, rich, dark flavor of the, the pepper, the chili. It's actually really good, but it's different, it's different than consomme. A poco de tapatillo, a poco de limon, I think it'll be really good. Is it worth it? I mean, if you're balling, go ahead. But you can find better. All right, guys, so this is actually what I'm mostly excited for. This year, they brought the walking tacos. Which in one of our cooking lines, um, I've been wanting to do. So as soon as I saw this on the menu, I was mm -hmm. like, I am gonna try it. And if I'm not mistaken, they had something like this a few years ago, but they didn't have it last year. Yes. So they brought it back. All right, guys. So we do have some Fritos in here. We have the avocado. We have the ground beef. We have the tomato. It all looks so good and it feels so warm. It smells good. So again, the bag just comes um, ready to open, ready to slice up, and then you just add pretty much your toppings. So let's taste this. I'm trying to get a good bite. What I do like about the actual Frito chips, here let me show you. They're the ones that are like kind of like bulk size, so they're ready for you to like, you know, dip them. So let me try to get one with a good amount of meat, the guac, everything. I think that's a good first bite. What do you think? That looks really good. All right, me too. <laughs> And they do have tapatio here, you guys. Are you gonna put tapatio in there? That is so good. And again, it's just so nice and warm. And I mean, it already has, the chip is already a Fritos brand, which is an added plus. The Fritos are delicious. The meat has good flavor. It's just a great combination. You can't go wrong with it, right? That's what you it sounds like. You can't go wrong with it. Yeah. yeah. Love it. I would give it a 4.5 out of 5. 4.5? Yeah. Okay, Mire Tacos, I'll give them a 2.5. Much, much, much later. Uh, excuse me, sir. You look a little dehydrated. Can I get you anything? Soda? Powerade? All right. You guys didn't think we can have all the food and drinks in one night, did you? We're here with Koozie P, special guest. Professional eater. All right. This guy, uh, what did you get from Chucky's Dive Bar? I got the Cult of Chucky. Cult of Chucky live taste test. Let's see. How is it? Has the uh, chamoy and tahini rim. Oh, I love the chamoy. Ooh, yeah. I love the rim. It's pretty good. Okay. Oh, spicy tamarindo. It, it, it looks really cool. Yeah. This one has a spicy tamarindo vodka, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can taste the tamarindo. Awesome. Is it worth it? That's what the people want to know. It's pretty good. I give it like a four out of five. Ooh, four out of five. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like That's it. That's pretty That's solid, babe. Good. That's pretty solid. Okay, four out of five. I like it. Crystal and I got the friends till the end. It has a very fancy unicorn. Lollipop, very, uh, looks really refreshing, very messy. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. You taste the tequila. You wanted to get this one because of the tequila. Yeah. Tequila, Sprite, I think Blue Curacao. I think with these drinks, tequila is a really good mix because it's stronger. It tastes just like a margarita. That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Wow, another high rating. It's not too sweet, that's why. And make sure you guys tip your bartender too. And we are back to finish the night off. A few things we had to try. This is uh, Grandpa's Porch Pounder from Leatherface Barbecue. I do have to say though, <laughs> I love the bones on top. Yes. That's such a great touch to them. Yeah, so this one has vodka, mezcal, uh, passion fruit, uh, puree, the the bones, the candy, it's and Sprite. You had me on mezcal. I had your mezcal? Let's see, let's see. They had us at mezcal. Let's give it a try. Here and we also go. The passion fruit. We love passion yeah. fruit. 
lower lot. This is over at Leather, uh, Leather Faces Barbecue, just like those ribs that we tried earlier in the video. Let's see. Wow, that is really good. Oh, snap, okay. Wow, whoa, there's a mezcal. <laughs> there it is. I was waiting for it. <laughs> so mezcal is like tequila, it's just a little smokier. Yeah, it's, it's not smoky. processed. There you go. It's not processed the same and it's not made in tequila in Mexico. That's the only difference. You know what, the mix with the passion fruit? Uh-huh. It's really good. I want to get Gary. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to do like a four out of five. Oh, snap. Yeah. That's pretty high for you. Let's go. All right, baby. I'm curious to see what you think. Four out of five is pretty high for Crystal, so it must be good. Especially for drinks here at the park. I want to make sure you get that mezcal. It's smoky Whoa, for sure. Whoa, right? Wow. It's very tart, but that smoky, the mezcal, it lingers. Yes. Holy crap. Wow, okay, wait a second. Yeah, take a second sip because I had to take two sips. That is very smoky. Wow. It's almost like um, I've had a smoky old fashioned. Yeah. Where they actually put, like, you know, they light it up, get the smoke in there. Yeah. And that, that smokiness lingers a lot. Isn't this stronger though? I don't mind it. it it's a little sweet for me, but I Mix really, it up. I like that smokiness of it. Yeah. Okay. It's almost, it's, yeah, it's giving me, um, there's this, okay, it's like Mai Tai vibes, vodka mezcal though, so smoky, if you like very tart drinks, if you like those sweet drinks, like boils and ghouls, this one is really good. But I then like also it. if you, if you don't mind the smokiness, because I feel like smokiness no. in a drink is very, yeah. If you haven't tried, if you know, don't know what we're talking about, try it this yeah. year, this is the year to try it. Not bad. I'm gonna give it, um, it's a little too tart, too sweet for me. 3.5 out of 5. It's solid though. There this we go. Good. Wow, right. nice guy. Alright, I don't think I've been as excited for a food item than this one. So this is the Fiery Bite Corn Dog. Fiery Bite. Eats, it is a spicy style Korean corn dog. Uh, I will say this really quickly. We thought it was actual chips because I got the fish and chips, but it's chips chips. Yes, so it's make sure. Chips. Bag of chips. Make sure you grab your chips. Or make sure they have them too. Okay, look, I see it's chicken. Okay, it comes with the sauce. I'm guessing it's just ketchup, right? I don't know. Give it a try. Let me, see, let me try it. Let me try it. They drizzled that on there. It's just ketchup? I think it's just ketchup. Okay. I'm going to take a bite for the ketchup. Go for it. Nice. Steaming hot. This is all that Mummy eats, by the way. Mummy eats here in the lower lot. Right next to the... Or in front of the Mummy, right? You get the flavor of the actual um, hot dog first, and you can see it's nice and warm. Wow. If you know one thing about me is that I love it when my food is nice and warm. Okay, I'm not, I don't get any spice though, I will say that. Oh, interesting. Let me take another bite. No spice. With the sauce this time. Let's see, I don't know where the, where the spice is supposed to come <laughs> from. I think it's supposed to come from the sauce. Oh, okay. Slight spice, but nothing crazy. Nothing crazy? Yeah. Wow, this is solid i love it then yeah i like the ratio i think growing up that's one thing that i did not like about like about hot dogs the ratio from the actual weenie <laughs> with the batter like it just didn't match up but this the batter <laughs> itself is not too thick which uh, i like nice so it's good okay. i like it fish and a bag of chips these are actually cod nuggets if you come during the day they do sell fish and chips uh, like traditional fish and chips at Cogsmead inside three broomsticks. I love fish and chips. Let's see how these compare. Tartar sauce. I can tell already it's missing lemon on the side. They do give you lemon at Cogsmead. And just a pinch of salt. Is that where the salt comes from? The chips? Yeah. Not bad. It's a very uh, juicy, it's not dry. The batter's okay, but I like how it's a little crispy and it's still really warm and juicy on the inside. That's pretty solid. Would you say it's something that you would crave again? They're pretty good. Just lemon and a little bit of salt. That's all it's missing for me. But they do have salt actually. The little salt packet, I might actually grab one. Three and a half out of five. Not bad. If you're into fish and chips, 
This is a really good light snack. All right, friends, that's gonna do it for the ultimate food and drink guide Halloween Horror Nights. But I quickly wanted to mention, of course, Hello Kitty is now open, the Hello Kitty Cafe and the Sanrio Smile Shop. We haven't tried these yet. But um, there are some treats that you can also find here at City Walk that are Halloween Horror Nights inspired. They are. Like over at Margaritaville, they have this sangria drink. Uh, it says Halloween Horror Nights. It does come in like in a nice little like blender, like yeah. a margarita blender. It's 20 bucks and it looks like it's fully loaded. So if you guys are here at City Walk, if you want a pregame or anything, uh, check the menus for specialty HHN items here. But foodies, we hope you enjoyed that and we can help each other out. There are a few drinks that we purposefully did not try oh because we actually might want to do those live. I'm really excited for that. <laughs> we kept them out for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, I do want to say the the food and drinks this year way better, huge improvement compared to last year. So we're very grateful for that. It is a step above from last year, which makes me so happy. Yeah. I'm glad Universal's probably listening to us. Like, I'll eat the food, especially if the prices are already there. Like, mm -hmm. we want just good food. Exactly. And we can help each other out here. Is there something you tried that was not in this video? Let us know what it is down below. Um, is there something you want to try? Maybe someone in the comments has tried it already. We can help each other out. That's how it works here. We ate good and we drank good this video. Yummy in there. I'm full. <laughs> I will see you guys on the next one. If you join us, our, if you join any of our live streams, thank you. It's only the beginning. We'll be live with a lot more spooky events. I love you guys. Can you believe it's not even October yet? <laughs> oh, it's only the second week of April. So much more spooky content coming your way, you guys. You guys are awesome. Gracias. Happy Bye. Halloween.